Okay, I'm in uh, InDesign now, and I want to be able to pull up the flower shapes that I've created from my iPad, uh, just like Illustrator and Photoshop. If I go under Window, we'll see there's no library, but there is. It's actually CC libraries, and it's a little bit different. And actually, it's kind of nice because uh, it behaves differently than in Illustrator or Photoshop. When I drag and drop the image from the CC Libraries panel, um, it acts as if it were a regular image, uh, the same as you would import an image in a print document or another use uh, images within InDesign. So if I click and drag, it's constrained to the shape of the image itself. Let go, and there we go. We have a place imaged here. Um, if I wanted to change the color, let's see what would happen. It actually just changes the background color of the box itself. So InDesign stays true to uh, the software itself and how it handles imported images. But you still are able to use these graphic elements that you've created from your iPad and it is automatically synced through your uh, the Adobe Creative Cloud libraries. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you to get started on creating your own library of shapes using Adobe Shapes CC. Thank you for your time and good luck creating.